Welcome to Scrapbook Max, the fun way to create scrapbooks on your computer. In this short video, we'll take a quick look at the steps involved in using Scrapbook Max to create and share wonderful personalized scrapbooks. When we start Scrapbook Max and click the button to create a new project, we're presented with a gallery of pre-built templates. We can start with a blank scrapbook or we can choose one of the pre-built template designs. All the templates are fully editable so you can easily add your own elements. You're not tied down to any particular design. But often the templates work well as a starting point. So let's go ahead and create a new scrapbook by clicking to select the Butterfly Kisses template. Typing in a name for our new scrapbook, I'm going to use Secret Garden for this example, and then pressing the OK button. It's that easy. We now have a brand new scrapbook ready to work with. The first thing you'll probably notice is that there are grey rectangles embedded in the design which say double click to select a photo. Let's start with these. The grey rectangles represent photo objects which have been placed into the design layout. All we have to do is double click these placeholders to bring up the select photo dialog, then surf to an image and select it to add it to our scrapbook. The photo we selected instantly replaces the placeholder rectangle. This is a perfect way to quickly add photos from a digital camera into a scrapbook layout. Notice that there's a series of tabs along the top of your page. We use these tabs to navigate between the pages of our scrapbook. So let's click on the tab for page 2 and double click our placeholder objects to replace them with photos. Notice that when we select a photo, which is a different shape than our placeholder, we're presented with a cropping rectangle, which we can adjust manually with our mouse by simply clicking and dragging before pressing OK. This allows us to ensure that our images fit well into our design. I'm going to go through and replace all the placeholders in our design with photos now. If I click around on one of our pages, you'll notice that each of the design elements is a selectable object, just like a real scrapbook. Simply use your mouse to select and manipulate these objects. For example, let's click and drag to move this butterfly embellishment from here over to here. Then we'll go ahead and resize it by simply dragging on the corner of its bounding box. And finally we'll rotate it slightly by holding the mouse near the corner until the cursor changes to a curved arrow and then clicking and dragging. You can use these same techniques to move, resize or rotate any object quickly and easily. There! Now that we have our butterfly embellishment adjusted, let's take a quick look at some effects. There are a variety of effects available for objects in Scrapbook Max, ranging from color adjustments and special effects to cropping and flipping. Let's apply the crackle effect to one of the butterfly embellishments by selecting it and choosing crackle from the effects menu. Very cool! Now let's apply a second effect by choosing one of our photos and selecting sepia from the effects menu. This gives us a nifty old-fashioned photo effect. These are just a couple small examples of all the cool things you can do with effects in Scrapbook Max. I encourage you to take a few minutes to explore the available effects and see which ones catch your eye. Don't worry about damaging your photos or embellishments. If you apply an effect you don't want to keep, restoring your image is as simple as choosing Undo from the Edit menu. In fact, the Undo feature works for any changes you make in your scrapbook design. So you're free to experiment with new creative ideas without ever having to worry about not being able to undo your changes. Notice that there are also some text objects to be found within the pages of our scrapbook. In addition to photos and embellishments, Scrapbook Max offers several other handy objects for inserting such things as text, paper scraps, and music into your scrapbooks. Let's focus on the two different types of text objects found within our scrapbook. First, there's what's known as journal text. This is a multi-line text object suitable for adding blocks of text to your pages. You can freely rotate and resize journal text just like photos and embellishments. To edit the text, simply double click on a journal text object to bring up the properties dialog, type in the new text and press OK. Notice that you also have options available in this dialog to edit font face, color, size, style, alignment and more. The other type of text object is the caption object, which is designed to add titles and captions to your pages instead of multi-line text. You can edit caption objects in the same way you edit journal text objects. I'm going to go through and edit all the text within our scrapbook. Once you've got your scrapbook laid out, it's time to publish. Sharing your scrapbooks is a breeze, and we've included a variety of convenient options, so you'll be sure to find one which suits all your friends and family. The email feature makes it easy to email your scrapbooks in just a few clicks. 
create high quality prints at home, or if you prefer to have your scrapbooks professionally printed, create high resolution images suitable for your photo developer. If you plan to share your scrapbooks on a PC, you can publish them to image files, video files, slideshows, Adobe PDF documents, and screensavers. For easy sharing online, the HTML publishing feature generates all the files needed to upload your scrapbooks to a website. You can even create video CDs which play back on a standard DVD player for viewing on your TV. We've also included the ability to create photo and slideshow CDs, perfect for storing or distributing your scrapbooks. What could be easier? I hope you've enjoyed this short video. If you're interested in learning more about Scrapbook Max and the joy of digital scrapbooking, please join us in our online community at www.scrapbookmax.com. The online community is completely free and features downloads, friendly scrap chat, an extensive gallery of scrapbook designs, and much more. We look forward to seeing you there.